to show you some live pictures literally happening right now from the Apple Store, just a couple blocks away on Fifth Avenue, just a little bit north of here. $3,500 Vision Pro going on sale today. And Apple CEO, you can see him right there, Tim Cook, opening the store and greeting customers. A big line almost around the block there. And Steve Kovac is uh, here with us to talk about what this moment means for Apple. Steve, we were just uh, wearing these goggles uh, with Joanna Stern moments ago. Yeah, yeah, and I actually got a chance to catch up with Tim Cook yesterday just uh, following up on earnings. And, of course, <laughs> we talked a lot about Vision Pro in addition to uh, that kind of mixed uh, earnings report we got last week. And, you know, I asked uh, Cook, you know, what is this for? You know, he's talked a lot about entertainment and things like that. But another thing besides that obvious use case of, you know, watching cool movies on your face, I guess, in this big screen, uh, B2B and enterprise, he seemed really excited about the prospect of selling the Vision Pro to businesses. He gave me examples of, you know, doctors uh, practicing virtual surgery uh, using the Vision Pro or uh, Walmart using an app that helps employees like stock shelves better so they can find the optimal place to put things on shelves. Uh, one thing I would note, though, because, you know, I asked him, other headsets have tried this. Microsoft has tried going into the enterprise, for example, with the HoloLens. Google Glass tried it uh, years ago after they failed to take off with consumer. Magic Leap, that startup, same thing. Um, it, so it's not a new idea they're really chasing here. It's just doing it in kind of an Apple way. I know you tried it, Andrew, and it sounds like you're, you're kind of a believer, aren't you? Uh, I'm a believer that I saw the future. And, and what I said actually online after I tried it for the second time yesterday is, if you can afford the future now, you will probably go buy it. Uh, but if you can't afford the future today, you will wait. Uh, it'll be probably a lot better and lighter uh, in the actual future. And either way, the future is pretty cool. So uh, yes, I, I'm a believer that we will all own something like this. And whether it's made by Apple or, frankly, Meta in the future, who knows? I recognize that it's going to be, I think, multiple years before we get to a place where it's affordable for, for, for folks uh, across the country. $3,500, it's a pro, it is a true pro device. So when people talk about a Mac Pro, this is as pro as it gets. And it's the professionals, those who can expense it, or those who are, you know, a super sort of luxury device right now, I think. Yeah, exactly. I'm taking a, uh, <clears throat> a flight home from San Francisco to uh, New York tonight. I'm expecting to see a, a couple of Vision Pros in first class. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it's uh, the do, you, good do, you old nerd bird. A, do you have a pair with you? I would love to see what it's like actually on a plane. I think I that don't. I do a not have use, a pair. I think that's a material use case that would actually yeah. be for those. For if you are like a road warrior, um, it's, it would be pretty great. The thing is, by the way, you'd have to be in first class for a lot of flights because it does need for a you long a flight. Plug. It needs electricity. Exactly. A two hour flight. Uh, you're not going to make it between San Francisco and uh, New York City. No, definitely right. not. But I, I think what's really cool here is you mentioned Meta, uh, Andrew. You know, my initial impression is I've been using these headsets since the very, very first Oculus before Meta even bought the Oculus startup. And what really impressed me was, you know, the concept isn't new, but it's just an elevated version of it. It's executed yep. so much better. The eye tracking, the hand tracking, and of course, the optics watching sports. Right. Super cool. I mean, well, if you, so there's if you a throw lot to every, if you If you put every expensive component part in it, uh, you can get pretty far. I actually think it's this will probably great. benefit Meta, too, though, because I imagine as, as uh, holidays come for kids and things, uh, they, that, they, they may say, well, I can't afford this, but I'll take this. And, and that could create its own ecosystem. So we'll see. Yeah.